Shelson, the supervisor of the Thibodeau Sewer Plant. Right here is basically where all force mains connect. Once they come from lift stations off the road, it's actually a process where they all connect in one. It comes across and it goes where it dumps into the pond. So it goes through a process of going through a rag catcher which takes all your rags and your trash out and it compacts it and throws it out. Once it gets into the pond, it has a settling point to where it's taking 1.2 million at night and it kind of settles where the sludge and everything will go to the bottom. There's a pump, two pumps set in the corner back here. Wesley pumps it back to this grid chamber. If there's any sand or anything, it'll settle in here. And there's a, a divider in the middle, which splits it apart. Actually, it's pumped from the, uh, the grid chamber. It comes down and it goes into primary clarifier. What it does, it pumps it in there, a scraper that continuously turns, knocks the trash and the trash settles. From there, it takes the water and it goes into plastic cone filters where the water is actually filtered through and the water goes through and the trash stays, whatever's left of sludge stays into that. there it is pumped into my final clarifier where there's another scraper and all the remaining trash comes out. And once the water is clear, the pump to big digester. It also settles, which it has a scraper in there. From there, the water flows to the back to where it goes into uh, UV lights. Once it gets into UV lights, it spends roughly about an hour. It'll go through a process of going through one set of lights, then comes around. Digester, what it does is once all of the sludge is settled, they got drain, uh, beds that we pour it in. We'll open a valve and then it'll all come out where the sludge comes out, actually settles with water and sludge, and then the sludge will stay up and then it'll come out to a dry content and it dries and then we put it in the pile. And from that, they'll uh, at the end of the year in December, we get a 14 yard dumpster, we'll load it in there and then they haul it off to River Birch. From there, it's actually pumped into the wetlands, which is known as the Ponichan Swamp. And basically, as we have 34 weirs across it, and it pumps the clear water back into the ecosystem, which feeds it and gives it minerals to where the grass will grow again, the trees will grow again.
swamp was actually dead from the, the salt water from the drilling fluids that they used to drill back there. 